uh, today I want to uh, talk to you about how to get a reaction force at any set or your boundary condition. Uh, it's very simple example for beginners and I hope uh, it will be useful for you. Uh, I'm going to uh, say everything say everything fast so we have to first create a part. Uh, I'm going to create a 2D planner and shell. Okay, and uh, very simple uh, box or something. Then okay, okay, we have a part now. Property. Um, and for material elastic model young Poisson ratio that's all we need for material okay uh, that all we need that's all we need for material for this uh, question um, but sometimes for example we want to test frequency we need to add some other materials for example density or things something like that and uh, as assembly, we have to go to assembly and create instance. Uh, and without going to assembly, we can create the mod and create our model. We have to have a model, uh, what we created before, but just a part. And so, in part, uh, we insert the only part we have, and uh, always uh, tick this one. And you don't you don't need to uh, make it independent. Uh, uh, if you are a beginner and then place ok and now we have the model and uh, in a step uh, we are going to create a step after the initial step and static general obviously continue uh, you don't need to change it but it's better if it's like this your increment size will be mm, a bit uh, more uh, smaller but in this question it doesn't really matter then okay uh, we, we, we have to uh, get back to this step uh, but for now we are just going to move forward and create load uh, and boundary condition for uh, for boundary condition uh, we, we can uh, create boundary condition uh, in both of these steps I'm going to create the in initial and uh, it doesn't really matter if you uh, create in step one i'm but in initial i'm going to create it and uh, the first one and then choose this one uh, create set and done okay now we have the boundary condition and now for force we have you have you have to create force in step one you can't create force in initial uh, step uh, and remember, you always have the initial step and uh, the other steps are created after it. So, uh, for step 1, I'm going to choose concentrated force. Um, on this point, you don't need a set for this. Or, I'm going to create set anyway. Okay. And these are the numbers I'm going to enter. Okay. Our boundary condition is done and for meshing you have to go to part and measure part the only part we have because uh, when we were in assembly and we were inserting we didn't uh, choose this and uh, so uh, because our part is dependent uh, we cannot mesh our mesh our assembly so for part the, our size of the size of our mesh always apply and see how is our your size and it's very properly good for our test here okay and uh, the mesh if if you uh, if you just try uh, you will have triangle mesh for example it will be like this triangles and um, but now it's better it's always better to use uh, quad mesh medial axis and okay you can uh, choose what kind of mesh you are having here but don't change anything if you are beginner okay uh, now uh, everything is done except uh, getting the reaction force so uh, go to a step uh, and go to your history output just edit it you have an history output you don't need to change it 
uh, you don't need to create another one just to edit this one uh, now you have a whole model you, you don't need the reaction force for a whole model in this example I just need to get the reaction force for our boundary condition or we can uh, choose the reaction force for for example for this uh, side wall here but uh, you don't have any fixed the joint here so you you will not get any reaction uh, except this uh, point down there may reflect it so uh, for no you don't, you don't need whole model just go to set and uh, create set but oh we don't need we don't know which set it is so uh, we are going to tools here and set and manager we have two set and we don't know which set is uh, was our boundary condition we can either either uh, create another set uh, and uh, for example geometry and choose this one or you can just see what are these two sets press edit and this set is here and this set is here uh, we need this set one uh, or you can just uh, change its name to pc okay now uh, here you can uh, now we know our set is bc uh, click on bc you don't need energy here and uh, uh, we were looking for reaction um, since we have the uh, mm, two um two loads in y and x uh, side we're going to choose these two and since our model is uh, is not 3d we don't need rf3 we don't have any rf3 uh, so RF1 and RF2 are the only things we are uh, going to get here okay and then um, dismiss we don't need anything else but we cannot get job now because of one thing that we changed you can see this error um, boundary condition 1 since we changed uh, the name of our um, the name of our um, set uh, and this boundary condition was on that set set one which renamed it to bc now it's lost and uh, it can't find our uh, the set for our boundary condition condition so we have to uh, choose it again click on yes and the region here you have to um, choose it again click on this and PC or uh, you can um, click on this one press continue or you can uh, dismiss it and uh, click on this one but uh, I'm going to I'm going to do it the hard way uh, dismiss and uh, click you don't need another set to be created so I'll click it and done okay now everything is done uh, we can get a job probably but uh, we have one problem that uh, we may have one problem i'm not sure because uh, it's solving it linearly now the job is done and see yeah it, so you see this weird shape that's because of it solved uh, it solved this problem this question linearly and we have to turn this energium on and it will be probably solved in a very normally shape in a normal shape you can check here if it's being solved Yeah, that was fast. And in the result, the shape is good here now. Okay. Uh, so uh, to get the reaction force, you have to go to the history output result and history output. Remember, result history output. And uh, the field output is also here. So uh, you have to click on history output. No, you have. Uh, nodes here for rf1 
till here and then for RF2 I'm going to choose all of the RF1 and uh, you can click on the first and last one and while holding shift uh, to take them all then uh, click on save as and here you have to choose uh, some um, well, sometimes if you are for example uh, getting the reaction mice you can't uh, and uh, your set is on uh, elements you can uh, choose some you have to uh, choose average or things but this question I, uh, you have to choose some if you want to get the answer okay and it is rf1 and the name is rf1 and uh, mm, it's created i don't know why didn't it show yes here and and for rf2 uh, the same process RF2, okay, and it's also created. Right click on it and add to plot. Now you can see the, the at the last time, um, these are the reactions uh, that we, have, we need. So go to tools, query, uh, and choose the prob values. Uh, prob values now, if you click uh, on any node. Here you can uh, get the exact number uh, on this table. So uh, for RF1, we click on the last point of it, and for RF2, we do the same. Now uh, for RF1, the um, the reaction force is five, and for RF2, the reaction force is eight. The sum of the reaction reaction force uh, for all the nodes uh, which are uh, down at the boundary condition. Um, so remember that's the sum. You don't need to save it ever, I think. So no. Uh, remember, it, uh, those amounts were exactly the same as we loaded five and eight. Eight for y and five for x. So this is uh, how we can get our reaction force, and it's very easy easy to be done i hope it helped you uh, and i will po be posting uh, some other videos about abacus or maybe some other um, programs related to it i hope this was really helpful for you thank you